Today we're making over easy eggs on Lisa Loves Food on the road. You know, sometimes people ask me how I'm able to travel so much. I mean, they're assuming I'm poor. <sighs> well, okay, so a lot of times I'm traveling for work and then it's paid for, right? But a lot of times I travel for fun. And one of the ways that I'm able to afford that is with little money saving tricks. And one of those is to cook some of your meals while you're on the road. So here I am in an Airbnb in Paris and I'm about to make my own breakfast. I went to the market around the corner. We have a nice little kitchen here. A lot of times kitchens in a rental are not the best. They're usually ill-equipped. If you see coffee and you see this next to it, don't you assume that that's sugar? <laughs> I would, especially because that's salt and that's salt. But that's okay. We're going to make an easy meal where you don't need a lot of equipment or a lot of spices or anything like that. Today on Lisa Loves Food on the Road. I got some eggs. Eggs are usually better in other countries for some reason. I got some tomatoes at the market. Guess what? Tomatoes taste better in other countries too. Is it just because I'm happy that I'm traveling? I don't know, but they just seem to taste more tomato-y and eggs taste more eggy. So I'm in Paris, so of course I've been getting baguettes almost every single day. I got this beautiful bread as well. Oh, it's so good. And I got some wonderful French butter, which I've been leaving on the counter. Did you know that you can leave butter out on your counter for up to two weeks? Obviously wrap it up, but it's always nice and soft when we're ready to put it on our baguette. Uh, here's a hot tip. Make sure that you get salted butter because it helps you to season your food. So one time I was in an Airbnb in Mexico and there was a little hot plate to cook on, but there were no seasoning whatsoever, not even salt. But I was still able to cook eggs because the butter had enough salt in it because eggs don't need a lot of salt. I got an avocado. Let's see if we're gonna do something with that. Also, another trick is to use your leftovers from, because obviously I'm gonna eat out too. I'm not a monster but I have some nice leftover pork from a beautiful pork pig restaurant that I went to while visiting the city center. It's great to use up your leftovers because then you feel like things aren't going to waste. One time I was in an Airbnb in Italy and we had accidentally ordered beef tartare the night before. Okay, I'm not a cool chefy lady who pretends to love beef tartare. I like my beef tartare medium rare, okay? Let's just sear that on the outside. <laughs> so we we took it to go. Takeaway, as they say in Europe, we, we got takeaway in a little box. And uh, the next day I, I made a little bit of uh, tomato sauce. I cooked up that meat and I had some pasta and we had a, a makeshift bolognese. So Use your leftovers and sometimes you might order accidental stuff and you might be able to save it in the kitchen. I also got fresh squeezed orange juice. Now I've been told that I say the word orange incorrectly, which is very rude to point out, but I'm lucky I can say any words. I was raised by two people from Long Island, so honestly, I'm doing great. So if you want a lady who says orange, orange, then you're on the wrong channel. Get out of here, because I, I say orange, okay? That's, no one else says that. I, I haven't found anyone else who says it. <sighs> First, open every drawer 32 times as you figure out what the kitchen has. What's this? I don't know. Oh no, oh, I don't. And what's oh, the dishwasher? Okay, and what the heck? You know, nothing gets colder faster than eggs, so I like to heat up my plates ah. and let them sit in some hot water for a bit. Prep 
everything first and cook the eggs last. Every rental ever is gonna have the dullest knives in creation. So be careful not to cut yourself. Oh my God. Better off using my teeth. Oh, that's terrible. I gotta make this work now. I don't know what I'm doing. When I'm trying to control the heat, I can pick up the pan. Now I like to break up the white part because I don't want slimy white on my eggs. So if I just poke the white a little bit, especially where it's thick, it lets the heat get to it. Okay, I've lowered the temperature of the pan. And put it back down. It does not need a ton of seasoning because I have salted butter. Oh, they got a pepper mill here. Otherwise, I probably would have skipped the pepper. That's how much I hate stale pepper. You do most of the cooking on the first side. All right, we're looking good over here. I'm gonna separate them so that flipping is easier. Gently flip. I'm not even putting it back on the heat. The residual heat in the pan is enough to just lightly cook that other side. These are mostly cooked through. I have a nice warm plate. I warmed it just with hot water. Of course, I dried it. Okay, I've got my toast. And then we're just gonna plop these on. So beautiful. have all my accoutrement already on the table. Okay, we've got our eggs and toast and we made a nice little charcuterie board with pork. Oh yeah, I got some nice cheese as well, a nice hard salty cheese, avocado, tomatoes, fresh orange juice, and we're about to have a lovely breakfast. Oh yeah, baby. Bon appétit. Bon bras. <laughs> oh la la. How many baguettes have I eaten while in Paris? Sixty-four. Thanks for watching! Check out Patreon for more! I'm a china cut down on a sugar. <laughs>